All right, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here reporting from the road. This quick report, obviously, because of breaking news. Did President Obama and his controllers order the killing of 20-plus members of SEAL Team 6 who went down, reportedly, on that helicopter in Afghanistan so conveniently? Now, remember, on the radio, I have predicted that they would have some type of staged plane crash or helicopter crash in the months following the staged Bin Laden event so that they could claim that the SEALs were killed after the fact and not on a mission that President Obama sent them on. It's very important for the President, and their own memos have said this, to look like he can take charge and get things done and call the shots and get rid of the wimp factor. Now, we know a stealth helicopter crashed and blew up while they were taking out Bin Laden, supposedly. And the local news there, multiple witnesses reported that they all got back on the helicopter and it blew up. Our government says it blew up, but that no one got hurt. That doesn't pass the smell test or the believability test right there. Then my military sources I covered in an earlier video, I've got some new information now, said that they know that the helicopter did crash, people did die, but they don't know if it was blown up or if it was shot by enemies. Uh, they don't know if it did crash into the wall, like they supposedly said. They don't know, just that there were fatalities. I got that from multiple sources who've been very accurate in the past. Now, here's the information you need to understand. Reuters, AP, the Pentagon are all reporting this is the biggest one-time loss of troops, period, in a 10-year, coming up on 10-year campaign in Afghanistan. It'll be 10 years in September. 10-year campaign, the invasion, everything, they never had 20-plus U.S. troops lost in one day. Much less than statistically, it's the SEAL team, and reportedly now they're looking at it being elements of the team that was on the ground in Pakistan. Does anyone believe that? That not only is this the biggest event in the close to decade-long operations, but that it would be the SEALs and much less the very unit that went in and supposedly took out Osama bin Laden. You put all that together and then you go back and look at the original story. They claimed that he was buried at sea, asinine, that it was Islamic law when it wasn't, that bin Laden fought for 45 minutes with a machine gun and used people as body shields. None of it was true. That Obama was watching that Situation Room video and the stage photo of Hillary, clearly a stage photo, all of them, being coached on how to act. They were watching the live feed. Turned out none of that was true. Remember all of this? On and on and on and on. Lies, 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 lies. Now, predictably, and here's the key, they can now start releasing the names in the days and weeks to come of the, of the SEAL team that went and killed bin Laden. But then our heroes, they got taken out by the Taliban. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot the first one I should have made. Those of you emailing me and posting comments that I've seen on Infowars.com and PrisonBuyer.com, the minority of folks that buy into propaganda, they're saying, hey, Alex, the Taliban took credit. Kind of like somebody on a message board said the Taliban took credit, or friends of Al-Qaeda, or friends of fruitcakeness, whatever the case was, with the, Nor with the Norway shooter and bomber a few weeks ago. Remember that? How many times I've seen AP articles saying Bin Laden puts out a new message, and then later it says unsubstantiated uh, days later from a message board, or it wasn't real, it wasn't true. More often than not, it's totally fake. That's another issue there, uh, that the Taliban says, yes, we did it. So now they can speak for these heroes. Now they can't be there uh, to talk about what really happened on that fateful day, one way or the other, whether they killed them, and these were SEALs that survived and were talking about the other helicopter that blew up and the folks that were reportedly killed, or whether uh, they just used a crash that happens routinely and then just tagged on the names of the dead SEALs onto that roster. And that's something that's been declassified that our government, the Russian government, uh, and many, many others did in Vietnam the first four years of it that was undeclared. That's how they made up for thousands of deaths. It was died in an automobile accident, died in a plane crash, helicopter crash, uh, died when a pallet fell over on them in the warehouse. That's how they would do that. The Russians did the same thing in the Afghan war, covering up what was happening with their people. So if troops die in covert operations, you just wait till a few months later when there's another crash or something in training, you tag them on. So this, this totally stinks to high heaven. I don't know exactly what's happening here, 
but I know that the official story has been proven to be a fraud. And so you can't trust these people. And, and now the predictable stuff of let's nuke Afghanistan, let's nuke Pakistan. They killed our Navy SEALs, heroes. Now they can come speak for the SEALs and tell folks whatever story they want. And the ridiculous fable of what happened with bin Laden, that now can't be challenged. And again, I predicted this would happen through my sources. Uh, it is so incredible. And we know that multiple helicopters were involved. We know the assault force was more than 40. And now, quote, 20 plus of the SEAL Team 6 are dead. Uh, we can see this coming a million miles away. This is so incredibly obvious, and it stinks to high heaven, and we need people in the military to speak out. We need the people that know the truth about this, just like the Pat Tillman murder. Turned out it was a murder because he was going to speak out against opium and other corruption. Now they just admit our troops are there helping grow the opium. Our troops don't work for America anymore. They're good men and women, but they work for the corrupt globalists, and it's time to bring them all home. Uh, and I'm sorry for the big major banks if that means the opium price uh, you know, goes down for them or they don't make as good a profit. I'm sorry. Uh, your new world order must come down. So we'll be covering this tomorrow on the radio uh, live at 4 p.m. Central on the Sunday edition of the show. And please spread the word about this information and point out the statistical impossibilities uh, of what we're talking about here. That it's the biggest death in the 10-year war. And it just so happens to be the SEAL team that went in for bin Laden. And then you've got all the ridiculous stories involved with that. None of this holds water. And so that's basically it. Uh, that's the points I wanted to make. Uh, and now they can hype up war even more, saying, man, they killed our heroes. Aren't they dirty rats? Thank you so much for watching. Check out this information for yourself.